Hey guys, how you guys doing today? My name is Axel. I'm here with the, uh, sharing my experience doing a gastric bypass. A lot of people may ask me if uh, I'm having fun. No, I'm not having fun. It's a hard situation. Only thing I could eat is sometimes it's three coffees per day. Large from McDonald's, decaf only, not caffeine because it's bad for you. The other thing the doctors don't tell you is that as soon as you have a gastric bypass done, which for me, uh, they took 90% of my stomach and I only have 10% in. I have about 32 staples in my bottom stomach and uh, in my upper torso, I have 32 staples as well inside. What doctors don't tell you is that as soon as you have surgery, you have to stick to chicken broth three times a day, which is four to six ounces of chicken broth and eight, eight ounces of uh, water every day, three times a day and four ounces of the jello, non, non fat or sugar free. Well, if you ask me if it's the right choice I did, yeah, it is the right choice. I used to be 460 pounds, like about seven months ago. I have made a big difference, a big impact in my life. And due to all that, I'm losing a lot of weight every day. I'm losing about seven pounds a day. But if you ask me, uh, no, it's not a fun challenge because um, all you could eat now, all I could have is nothing but fluids. Maybe three times Cheerios, maybe some cheese sticks, crackers i really don't eat much probably put about a total of uh, 600 calories in my body and the whole procedure takes about four and a half hours uh they gas you up they take you to this room they gas you up and it takes about four and a half hours they cut your stomach then they have a video camera taping everything so they could see where they're cutting inside your stomach uh, they cut a uh, layer of skin to have your organ organs uh, drop down from your stomach Second, they start taking uh, your organs out in order for them to cut your actual stomach. As soon as they start cutting your stomach, uh, it's an uh, incision where the tool that they use actually has uh, hot staples on your stomach and it cuts and it staples at the same time. It's a good procedure. I've lost already about 170 pounds. I'm uh, at 290 now. I uh, remember when I used to be 290, I was probably about maybe 20, 21 years old. And the highest I've ever been is 460. My dress size pants was 72. Now it dropped to 42, which is amazing. It's going down to 40. It's a big change. You have to keep yourself active. You have to get shots of uh, vitamins, which is uh, complex B12. Multivitamins go injected on your right upper thigh. And pretty much your diet changes a lot. You were not able to eat food for about a year, year and a half. Um, after a year and a half, you'll be able to eat maybe about a four ounce or eight ounce meal, which includes pasta, chicken, fish, turkey, um, any any vegetables and salads. That's until a year and a half. I've only been about going to eight months. So you could say I have another eight months to go, eight to, eight to 10 more months to go on my diet. Um, I have to be about 175 pounds by May this year, which is 2017, May 2026 20, or May 23rd, I would say. So it leaves me about 130 more pounds to lose. How do I do it? Just doing uh, nothing but liquid diet. Um, don't get cravings for anything. Sometimes I'll have a sweet bread here and there. Sometimes I'll have chips. I'll have a lot of chocolate. I do a lot of protein shakes. Um, it all depends. So if you like, uh, you guys want to do a diet before you guys even do your gastric bypass, I recommend you guys having at least four to six ounces chicken broth a four ounce uh, yogurt, non-fat yogurt, or a jello, which is better because it's liquefied. Eight ounces of water, three times a day. You do this for about five days, you're guaranteed results to lose about 17.5 pounds. I lost about 17.5 pounds the first time I tried it. The first month I did it, I lost around close to 54 pounds. And I've done it, I'm telling you, you guys could do it. Don't feel bad if you're overeating and you still want to do the surgery and your insurance coverage don't cover. It's not a bad idea to do it, you know, but you could always do it the easy, easy way or the hard way. The hard way is going to the gym, exercising 24-7, maybe about four or six hours a day. If you have a trainer, you'll probably lose the weight going to the pool and you do aerobic, aerobics in the pool and that makes you lose a lot of weight. Walk a lot. You have to push yourself to the max side uh, one day you walk half an hour try to walk an hour try to walk as much as possible and that also helps you to lose the weight if you're looking into gastric bypass uh don't get the the other one where they tie your stomach that doesn't work lap band the gastric bypass works better 
the only thing that doctors don't tell you is that you go, you have to go get an MRI, you have to get a heart scan, you have to get a CAT scan and everything. And once you once you think you're in, they tell you six months later you have to do a six month weight watching program. So if you guys do a weight watching weight watching program before you guys go through your gastric bypass surgery, it'll be great because it'll save you six months. So down the line you'll be able to be ahead of the doctors and not behind. Uh, if you want to pay for the surgery, it costs about sixty thousand dollars. Mine costed about seventy thousand. And if I ever have skin hanging around, I have to go back to my surgeon and they cut my skin off and they staple everything back up. And it'll cost about thirty-four thousand more. So it's a total of one hundred and four thousand. If you guys want to risk and going to Mexico, you guys could do it for fifteen, sixteen thousand in Mexico. But I heard of the, this lady and this guy who actually went out there and did it, and they died after a year and a half because uh, they had a stomach infection inside. Someone left the glove, another one left the in, uh, instrument inside their stomach. So the person died. Uh, if you do it here in California, it's expensive, but it's more secured. Um, anybody out there that's you know worried about their weight, don't worry about it. Eventually, it'll go down. Uh, try to eat healthy, don't eat pizza. Don't eat no fried foods, don't drink soda, no candy, no sugar. Try to exercise a lot. Um, don't think about maybe salads are going to help you lose weight because they're not. It's uh, still full of carbs. Um, for myself, I don't eat salads, I don't eat fruits. I eat a lot of junk food because that's the syndrome that I build in my stomach. My surgeon said if I build a sugar syndrome, I'm only going to be eating nothing but sugar. So that's what's happening right now, even though I'm eating a lot of sweet bread, a lot of chocolate, a lot of milk, a lot of cheese. 10% out of all that, 100%, only 10% sticks to my body, 90% goes down the drain. So I'm not able to, I'm not able to gain weight. I'm never to, gain, uh, never to get sick ever again. My immune system is high. My red cells are high too as well. So that prevents me from getting sick. Um, I could eat whatever I want, but in certain portions. I could have as much as sugar I want and I'll never gain weight. Uh, eventually, you know, I eventually use like seven pounds a week, like I said. So my stomach's like a, like a water hose. You cut it in and whatever you, you throw in the water hose, whatever sticks, that's what sticks into my body. So I'm not able to, I'm not capable of holding a lot of calories. Even if I put about a thousand calories out of a thousand calories, only a hundred calories are going to stick and 900 calories are going to go down the drain. That's how bad I have it. I have a 10 size, 10, uh, 10 percent stomach, which becomes half of a, a half an egg. That's really small, so I could only fit nothing but vegetables. Uh, if they're really soft, I could, I could, you know, if they're able to be bear priced by my mouth, then yeah, you know, I'll be able to swallow them. But if not, after gastric bypass, the doctors don't tell you that. You also get this reflex on your throat. If you ever threw up, you'll have the same experience, but this time. You won't gag, you won't make the sound. You just go to your toilet, you face down, and it just comes out. Your reflex just dumps it out. You're not gonna make a sound. You just open your mouth, saliva comes out, everything pours out of your throat without you even forcing yourself. So you don't even worry about sticking your finger because it's not gonna work. You do that, you're gonna rip your staples in your stomach, and then when that happens, your surgeon might be able to go, be able to go back in there and stitch you back up, but the only thing that they don't tell you is like after they stitch you up, since you have liquid inside your stomach or out of your stomach already inside, then they give you about a year to live. After that year, um, your stitches get uh, infected and you contaminated your whole entire blood system, with, which leads to if you even try to go to dialysis 24-7 for the whole year, it ain't going to save your life. You're still going to die. So if you want to be successful... Uh, don't do the sugar syndrome that I did, but if you do choose to do gastric bypass, I say go for it. It's the best thing you guys could do. The only thing is that if you love food the way I I love food, it's going to be really hard on you because um, you're going to have a lot of cravings for food and you can't eat. Like I can't eat hardly anything. I eat like a bird sometimes. But, you know, it gives me energy. It gives me moving. I look better. I look better now. My face, my face structure is way better. As you see, my face is kind of like, you can, tell, you can tell the slim size of my cheeks uh, where my skin probably hangs a little bit. You can tell my lips, uh, my eyes a little bit, my forehead. But before that, I used to be really round, very, very fat. You know, I probably lost a lot of weight from my face. Like I said, I used to be size 72 pounds. Now I'm size 42. Now I'm going down to size 40. All my clothes fit small. So if you do do the gastric bypass, 
I suggest you not to buy clothing right away because you will lose a lot of weight and you're gonna wanna enjoy buying a lot of new clothes. But as soon as you buy it, a month later, those pants or those shirts are gonna fit you big. So don't do it. Just go ahead and buy one shirt and one pair of pants every month or every two weeks so then you continue looking good. Try to, build, try to wear a belt, mostly. If you keep active, you're gonna be successful at your, uh, your surgery. You, everything's gonna fall apart, uh, fall apart and you're not gonna have uh, to worry about anything about the being or, overweight ever again. If you have people ever calling you names or saying that you're fat, ugly, all this, it's not true. Because you are beautiful inside and you have to remember that. You tell yourself that you have to motivate yourself because if you don't motivate yourself, no one else is gonna do it for you. It's, everything starts by you. Don't worry what your neighbor, your wife, your husband, your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad says. Everything starts by you. If you believe in me, you will have success. I have lost 170 pounds and I'm still losing weight. If I could do it in seven months, so can you. You see my face, I look healthy. I don't look half as bad. I looked unhealthy before when I was 460 pounds. So if you guys wanna do it, um, I suggest you guys go ahead and do it. Don't go to Mexico and get your surgery, it's not worth it. And I'll be, I'll, I will be filming another follow-up video. This is my first time doing this video on YouTube. So if you guys like my video, uh, give me some thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much. You guys have a blessed night.